Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, set up some website conversion ads based off of um, possible page posts that you've done. Uh, so let's go back through and just take a look um, at some of the page posts we did for the this gram, uh, this gram was anchored in Jesus shirt. Um, we go to the page, remember on our engagement post we posted two different uh, posts here. One was Let's see here. Uh, one was with the white shirt, and one was with the uh, black shirt. Okay, so my computer is catching up here. So you can see that uh, after a lot of engagement, the white shirt seemed to have really outperform, and the black shirt did okay. It took a, a couple of days on this actually to. Sorry about that. Um, it, I'm sorry about that. It took a couple of days for this. Uh, but to get some, some engagement, I mean, we ended up getting some, but not nearly as much as the white shirt. So that did tell me something. <clears throat> so what you want to do is in your ads manager, you're going to do some website conversion ads. Um, I've already done some, but we'll just kind of go back through it. So we're going to go to conversions here, and you would name your, uh, you would name your campaign. Okay, so in this case, we'll name it um, Um, so this is, remember, the campaign is going to hold all of your ad sets and it's going to hold all of your um, ads that are associated with the ad sets, okay? Uh, so a couple different things. Uh, you want to make sure you pick what type of uh, conversion you want to do. So if you want to use your purchase, a lot of people like to pick an add to cart because you tend to get more add to carts than purchases at first. And uh, it tends to get your, uh, your pixel fired up and, and let your pixel learn who's out there. And... Um, then you can you can retarget those people through that. So uh, we'll just pick add to carts first. So people that are going to add to carts, and you know what you're going to want to do is in your ad set here. Remember we talked about this before. You're going to have your, your 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 offer, your audience, your placements, and your budget. Okay. So uh, in this particular one, we're going to be targeting women. Uh, I'm going to be targeting 45 and up. So I'm going to be targeting that grandma demographic. So 45 and up. In the United States, and let's do let's do a couple different uh, uh, ad sets. Remember, your ad sets will consist of all of your targeting. So, I know that a lot of uh, grandma uh, targets there's a, there's there's quite a bit of uh, interest out there. So, when you're doing your targeting, you have uh, people you can add interest or behaviors or demographics. Your interests are like are are things like I love my grandma. Uh, you can just start typing things in depending on what you're what you're promoting. Uh, if you hit browse, you'll hit your. You'll see other types of interests over here. Uh, you'll see demographics, um, and you'll see um, behaviors. Okay. So we talked about this too. There's all kinds of cool, really cool things, and I'll show you some that we're going to do in a minute here. Okay. So let's just start with some. Let's some grammar interest. So I, I've been doing this. So this is going to pop up. So you can always type in, you know, kind of keywords and see what comes up. So I love my grandchildren. Uh, so you can still see, we're going to unclick this expand interest if you're getting really huge potential reach. Um, so unclick that and we'll kind of bring it down to a regular number here. So our potential reach is 410. But I like, let's see what else we have because I like to do a lot of layering when I'm doing website conversion ads. So I'll hit suggestions here. You can do, uh, love being a grandma. If you hit suggestions again, then I love being a grandma. So if you were to put all three of these, if you were just to run these, it would be, uh, People that are who match at least one of these, so what even be all three of these, and it gives you um, a, a potential reach of six hundred forty thousand, right? But since on this particular design, we have to make sure that not, not only that we're hitting grandmas, that we're also hitting grandmas who are uh, faith-based or Christian. Uh, uh, with this shirt, it's has Jesus on it, so we're, we know it's going to be Christian. So if we were, this is great for grandmas if you were just running grandchildren. Uh, or I love my grandchildren, or a number of grandchildren, but with this particular design, we need to make sure that we know that they are Christian. So we're going to narrow that audience down and start picking some uh, Christian women, probably. So I know Joyce Meyer. You have to do your research a little bit, but Joyce Meyer, she's a famous author, evangelist, very popular amongst women in the Christian community. And so with all three of these, and Joyce Meyer, that's a 10 million person interest. So with, they have to like one of these, and they have to like Joyce Meyer. That brings us up to about 100,000 people, okay? 
And I like that. I think that's a good audience. Okay, so I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to name my ad set. I'm going to copy and paste all three of those. Also, Joyce Meyer. You can put layered or narrowed with Joyce Meyer. I just kind of know. I put it in there because I know it. And then I put my my audience so I know. Okay. And then what we'll do is, as you scroll down, so let's just let that be one interest. I think that's a pretty good size audience. We always want to edit our placements. So we want to make sure that we're uh, we're coming in here. And you're, you're going to see a lot of these things um, pick up with all the instant articles and Instagram. So just do your news feeds for right now. So just click on news feeds. It will, act, it will sh actually sh look like it's not checked, but it is checked. They try to get you to check all these other platforms. Um, and you just don't need to when you're just starting off. Let's just test the, the Facebook news feed. So set your budget where you feel comfortable. And we're going to continue. You can usually, uh, I like to do like the lowest cost. I, I like to do my conversion window, seven day clicks or one day view. Um, here's a new interesting thing. <clears throat> you can turn on conversions and you can optimize for both link clicks. Remember, link clicks are like another type of uh, objective. They're called traffic ads. So this is something new that they're doing. And I'm going to try that out because I want to optimize for also conversions. And I also want to get people who like to click on links just, just because they click on links. Maybe they, they, they uh, will be interested in, in actually purchasing also. So this sort of stuff, I usually just leave it uh, at standard stuff, the lowest cost bid strategy. If you want to set your ad uh, budget, if you want to set a certain amount, a set end date, you can do that but you have to usually do a lifetime budget in order to set up your ads. So go ahead and tick, uh, click lifetime budget if you want to, and it will let you schedule your ads right here under ad scheduling. I won't do that for now, so we're just going to hit, um, we're going to hit this. So uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, on this one, I'm going to actually do a website conversion off an existing page post. Remember we posted that, um, that, that, uh, that engagement post. So let's go ahead and, and pick our page here. Okay. <clears throat> now I did a couple different posts, so I'm going to pick, make sure I pick the one that I want. So I know what this is. I'm going to do the white t-shirt first. Now remember, I did go back in and after I ran my engagement ads, I, I, I went and edited this post on my page and I gave them a 20% off, uh, you know, and I actually went back in and put in the the link to uh, the campaign. So you want to make sure you do that if you're running a website conversion ad off of a page post because nothing is clickable. It's just off of the page. So you have to have your link in there. Okay. Also, what I like to do, well, I didn't really um, do this, is uh, what I realized is every time you create, a, we're going to do a couple different ads off of that, just that one uh, that one particular ad set with the targeting. So let's go get our let's go get our um, our targeting again. And what I would like you guys to start doing, and I just kind of figured this out over this weekend, is that every ad set you do and every different ad you do, it creates a new ad for even. So if I do four different, if I do this this one with the white T-shirt and the black T-shirt, if I do a carousel ad, and if I also do like say a video. If I do four separate ads based off of that targeting, it will create four separate ads. So you want to make sure that you come in here and kind of name this ad. Uh, what what exactly? So we're doing the uh, page post, white tee, and then I'm going to put that targeting in. So um, if, as I do more and more ad sets with different targeting, I know exactly which ones are, are running. And it's just easy this way that you can... Um, you can click on your ads when you're looking at your data coming back. You can easily identify which ones are working. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do that one. And I'm going to confirm. And then I'm going to um, continue. And I want to, you can duplicate this. So we're going to go through and do a couple different ads. Okay, so remember, now we're in our ads. We have a page post white tee. We're going to come over here. We're going to duplicate this ad. Now we're just going to change up the, and we're going to come over here to your ad. This is your ad set level campaign ad set. And now we're ad. Now we're going to do a uh, page post. Let's do the black T. Okay. We'll have to come in here, pick our different page post. 
Everything's the same. It's the same targeting under our, our ad set. We're just simply picking a different post, and we changed our um, we changed our name of the ad so we know exactly which one this is. So we'll hit save and continue. Okay, and we'll place that order. Okay, and then we're going to go back in, and now if you want to do, let's say we want to do a carousel ad again, we'll just pick this. We'll duplicate the ad. Or let's do let's do like a video ad because I did create a video for this, so you can always if you're into videos to creating videos, I'll show you the video here in a second. Um, so instead of doing um, one off of a uh, existing post, we're going to actually use a create ad. And so when you create a new ad, you can do an ad image or a video, or the carousel ads, which um, I'll show you in another video, or you can do these collections. So these are all different types of ads that you can actually do. So let's just do one with a video. And so I'm going to use, uh, click on this adder with image or video. And so I'm going to click on this video here and I'm going to select a video. So it will actually pick up videos that are on your page. And here's one that I have that I posted to my page or, and it actually gets that MP4 right through, um, uh, uh, videos that you've posted. Okay. Um, you should be in your library. If you have, you can do a paste a link to a video URL, or you can actually just upload your MP4. So wherever you have that, you can easily find your video. If you have it on your computer, if you've never posted it inside your Facebook ads and it's not in here, then um, you can upload it from your computer here, okay? So you can find a different way. So let's select this video. And remember on this, you'll have to enter in your URL. So let's go, do I have this open? So I'm going to go ahead and just enter in the URL. Okay. And then here's where you're going to enter your text. So you can take the text that you have from your actual post. If you want to use the same text, that's fine. The same copy. Um, you can write new stuff. Um, I tend to just save time. I just tend to, I tend to try to do this. I want to try to get this. I'd like to put the, the link here. I want to try to make this. What I like doing is, especially on the mobile, I like to put these links two at a time. So in case they're hitting with their thumb and they can't hit it once, they can either hit one of these. So again, you're going to do here your display link. Uh, your headline is going to be, if you're, you know, I like to do the headline is, uh, Customize. Want to make sure you, um, you know, you can reaffirm that you customize with your grandma nickname, or you can do, you know, your 20 percent off, and then you can always under here if you want to your news link description that just goes right under here. You can get, you know, get twenty percent off today. That goes right underneath that. Okay, so you can flip flop these. Uh, always choose your button. So I would choose shop now. Um, and so again, so this is no, this is a video ad. So we still have we're still on three. And let's let's make sure we go up here. Just name it video. And we'll keep, remember, we're staying with the same targeting, okay? So we're going to go ahead and save that, okay? And we're going to place that order. Okay, so remember, now we have, we have three different ads under this one ad set, okay? So let's go back to our ad sets. Let's do one more for time's sake. And then you guys can repeat this and, and, and do different types of targeting, and, and, and you can really add as many ad sets as you want, just depending on your budget, right? So let's go ahead and duplicate the ad set. And remember, these are the ads under there. So we're just going to be duplicating this and we're going to be changing the targeting on this. So we're going to go to our ad set level. And this is saying that I have too much text in, in the shirt, which I ran it all weekend. I never got this, this um, at all. So this is just shows you how Facebook is just 
you can never figure them out. So I never had any problem with reach because of, I've used the same exact um, ads and the same exact mockups and everything over the weekend. So, and I never had this uh, as usual. So let's go to our audience. So let's let's try something different. So let's we're already using those. We have them, and you can continue to use that if you want to use these three and add a different you know, hit suggestions if you want to focus on the family or Joyce Meyer Ministries is one. There's all kinds of stuff you can do here. Um, so let's, again, let's, let's duplicate it, but let's, I want to show